We get new leaks of the Google Pixel 3, and it seems that the company's going all glass as well. Yes, the BlackBerry Key 2 was announced, and boy, there was a lot involved. And Sony may be up to something really interesting with their next Xperia. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, yesterday's event was so crazy, and everything that happened just pretty much made it so difficult to get you a daily, so I'm gonna compensate on Saturday. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals as, a uh, well, the LG V35, thank you, just barely launched on AT&T, and the phone already launched on sale, and great, because it was starting at 900 bucks. So you can get a second one, buy one, get one free, but it depends on the installment plans that you go for. You can learn more in the description. Uh, definitely, it's a good phone. It's just, it was very pricey, at least until now. Now let's talk about Motorola as the company recently announced its Z3 Play. Uh, we have a full hands-on, but in text you can see it in the description. Uh, definitely the premium mid-ranger that we've been expecting from Motorola, which is all great and everything. Specifications are not bad. The only problem is when it's priced pretty much close to the OnePlus 6. Makes you wonder why you would buy that over the OnePlus 6. You can learn more again in the description. Now let's talk about the BlackBerry Key 2. The event was awesome. We were part of it. Our hands-on video is live. You can see it in the description. I had a lot of questions in the comments over my impressions of what it's like to move back to a BlackBerry. Uh, and hey, in my case, I will tell you this much. The Key 1 was a good phone. There were a ton of things that weren't going for it, and it wasn't because of the processor or anything. I feel that it was the design. So I love the BlackBerry fixed the design on this launch. I'm really looking forward to this review period because this is a good candidate for a phone that will always be with me. Now let's talk about Sony and the company's Xperia XZ3. We're not sure if this is going to be the XZ2 Premium, which we were thinking was going to be, uh, but specifications are high on the roof. Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, along with six gigabytes of RAM. Uh, probably the most important part is that Sony is pitching to make this phone a lot slimmer. I have the XZ2. I don't know what it is about that XZ2 that I actually like because it's not the best designed phone and still it's a very pretty phone even if it doesn't follow a lot of the trends lately. So I'm looking forward to the next Xperia and let me know in the comments who's looking forward to that review. Uh, we thought we weren't gonna get a unit, but we did. And uh, sure, we could definitely do a review if we find it interesting. And finally, the most interesting news today have to do with the Google Pixel 3 XL, I believe, as we've got some leaked renders of the phone that share two important things. The first one is the notch is up there. Apparently there's no way around it, unless you go for the smaller Pixel 3, which apparently will not bring a notch. But the most interesting part is the fact that the back, even though it looks like the Pixel 2 apparently is not, it seems that there is a matte finish mixed with a glossy finish, uh, and the matte finish being like what we see on the OnePlus 6, uh, but it's still a full glass back. Would it be for wireless charging or whatever the case? In today's question, let us know, what do you think? Would you like for the Pixel 3 to go all glass, or would you prefer it to stick to the current design, which is part aluminum? Uh, in my case, honestly, I don't care about wireless charging, so for me, I would prefer the aluminum build. I actually find it to be a lot lighter than a ton of the phones in that size. But that's just me and my opinion. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know yours. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch our most recent PocketNow daily up here and our thoughts on the BlackBerry Key 2 down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.